Palava. This is Total Wax Headlight 2-in-1 Cleaner and Sealant. And its purpose is to remove the foggy, yellowy look from front and rear car lights. Now, in this video, I'll tell you how to use the product and whether it's any good. Welcome to Cast By TV. This is the car we're working on today. It's a 2005 Nissan Primera, and we're focusing specifically on the near side headlight, which as we can see, has a light fogging over most of it. Can you see that? There's a bit more. So it's not terrible, but nonetheless, it could be a lot better. Now, as we'd expect, there are some instructions on the back of the bottle, which we'll follow carefully. Now, if you'd like to read every word for yourself, you're welcome to pause the video now and fill your boots. And we can see that the first step is to shake the bottle well. Okay. So shake the bottle well to mix up the formula and make sure it works properly. Oh, that should be enough. Right, what's next? The next stage is to clean the headlight, like so. And then when it's nice and clean, dry it. Next, according to the instructions, we place a small amount of the formula onto a folded cotton cloth, which sounds easy enough to me. There we go. And now we rub the product with firm pressure over the entire lens until the lens becomes clear. Now, while we work, there are a couple of important points to consider. For example, the bottle itself says that this formula removes light oxidization and yellowing. In other words, it's suitable if, like this headlight, yours isn't too bad. However, if you've got a headlight that's more heavily distorted, you'll probably need a more heavy-duty solution. For example, Turtle Wax themselves make a product which includes sanding discs. OK, it's now five minutes later, so let's, as recommended on the bottle, now get a clean cloth and just buff the headlight and see if there's any progress. And I would suggest that is looking a little bit better. Okay, good. And now it's just a case of repeat that process. So more polishing and more buffing until the light looks good enough. Right, it's half an hour later and we're preparing for the final buff. First though, if we look here, we can see that some of the formula has accidentally crept onto the car's paint down there as well. Now, I'm not worried about that, but I have taken care not to accidentally rub the product into the paint because that stuff is effectively polished and we don't want to accidentally remove any lacquer. So we'll now do the final buff. And then we'll find out together whether we've been successful. What do you reckon then? I think that looks pretty good and certainly an awful lot better than before we started. Now, I wouldn't claim it's 100% perfect. There's still some very light fogging 
here and there, but you've really got to go looking for it now, whereas before it was quite obvious from a distance. And if we compare that to the offside headlight, which hasn't been treated, this one looks far foggier, even at a glance. And when we look more closely, there's some heavy pitting around here. So yeah, I would say that's a big improvement. Now this formula, according to Turtle Wax, also seals headlights to protect and prevent future yellowing. It does also suggest that the product should be applied regularly to maintain that protection. So, what have we learned about the Turtle Wax headlight two-in-one cleaner and sealant? Well, on my car, it worked effectively. There was a considerable improvement quickly, Further polishing improved things further, although there were definitely diminishing returns. In other words, five minutes polishing at the beginning of the job made far, far more difference than five minutes polishing later on. Also, the product was easy to use, not particularly messy and decent value for money. I paid eight pounds. Anyway, that's it. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Car Spy TV. That makes it easier to find my other content. Can you also please do me a favour and click like on this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.